Hey, welcome back everyone! And now, before we get to round 3, you get to see this little cutscene right here. Which, I have to admit, even though the cutscenes look good, the dialogue's kinda... Uh, like right here, now, you're doing well, Felix, but soon your game will be over. Well, I'm the one playing the game, not Felix. I thought that was kinda weird, but... Even when I played this as a kid, I'm like, what? But anyway... Uh, and, and all seriously, uh, uh, though... This round right here, round three, probably has the best music in the game, I think. As, as far as I can remember, either... I think there's a later world that has awesome music, but I, for some reason, this... This tune right here really resonated with me, and I was really eager to play this world. Like I said in a pr uh, previous video, make sure you keep your eye out for large magic bags right here. That way it gives you plenty of chances to get Felix heads. There's nothing really too threatening in this world. Just, you gotta make sure that you time your jumps right and watch out for enemies. But, nothing too hard, though. I'm not exactly sure what was going on here. It was it was really hard to gauge my jumps on here because of half the of the of half the clouds being invisible. So it was kind of hard for me to to judge. But uh, luckily, I was able to figure out uh, what the movements are, which isn't anything even close to being complicated. So no, if this was a game like Ninja Gate or something like that, then I could see where the difficulty is. But like I said many times before, before this this game really isn't all that hard. There's some tricky spots, but it's not really all that hard. The key is to just be patient in that. Make sure that you don't take too many risks and to collect Felix heads in that. That way you can get multiple lives in that. Now this this thing is a pain in the neck. To try to hit. My advice here is to try to get rid of this thing as soon as possible, like I did here, but, uh... You'll notice that in, la in the later stages, uh, it's probably best to eliminate any enemy you see without putting yourself too much in risk. Or else they're gonna cause you a big headache throughout whatever level you're playing in. Of course, like in round two, you can destroy the cannons here. Nothing really talk about in this this part of the round. It's pretty much like the first part, except things get slightly more difficult with the jumps and that. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I paused there. But, <laughs> but yeah, as long as you're patient, you should make it through here with no problem. Of course, when you flash like this, you're running out of uh, power for whatever power up you currently have. So make sure you collect Felix heads. Whenever you can, and luckily in this case, there was a magic bag nearby I was able to go in, but, um... Yeah, nothing too serious here. I'm, I, I, I'm trying to figure out what exactly those things were, whether or not they're like chicken eggs or whatever. What are those? I, I don't know, it's not important, they're just... They're more of a nuisance than an actual threat. They're kind of like Goombas and Mario or Waddle Dees in the Kirby universe. And we're off to another flying level. These flying levels aren't too bad. Now, if, if you're a really extra cautious type of player, I'd suggest sticking to the low ground, but the only problem with that is you'll be missing out on Felix heads. And you'll be running out of whatever power-up you're using right now. Which right now, I really don't want to lose this airplane, so... Yeah, I was playing a little bit risky here, but at the same time, though, I wanted to keep my power-up. It's always good to be observant. It's always good if you can try to backtrack whenever you can, because if that way you don't miss out on chances to get Felix heads and extra lives. Ah, oh, this music is good. 
I don't know, I, I just really like this music. I know some people probably like, well, Teddy, this music isn't all that good, but... I don't know, that, that's just my opinion. I, I, I've... Th this music's always struck a, a note with me, so I'm... I was really looking forward to playing this round in particular. Now, some of the big magic bags like this only has one way, so you get put back to where you were originally, but, uh... Nothing too big. It's not... This... This flying level is slightly more difficult than the one in round two, but having said that, it's nothing really nerve-wracking, so... You just, you just gotta pay attention to make sure that you don't run into things. Of course, having the ability to destroy these cannons makes the makes this really more manageable. And depending on how you look at it, it kind of makes it a little bit too easy, but, uh... I don't know, like I said before, it's just a matter of opinion, whether you, how, it's just a matter of how hard you like your games, you know, but whether you like yours or easy or a bit sugar-coated, or you like the really challenging stuff. I don't mind real challenging stuff, but at the same time, I don't want to encounter stuff that's gonna make me pull out my hair either, so. But in terms of this game, uh, there's nothing really extraordinarily difficult here, so. Like, I'm trying to be really cautious here. Now I'm at the boss. Which... I, I don't know what this is. If someone could tell me what this is, it, it kind of looks like a flying water heater, but I have no idea. But it's, it's, re it's really weird, and the good thing about this boss is, is you can... He only shoots, like, every couple seconds, and you learn his pattern, he's pretty much... You can pretty much beat him in no time, like I did right here. Like, only reason why I lost my plane here is because I ran out of energy, but, uh... There really should be re no reason why you should have trouble with that boss, so, um... And that's pretty much it for round three, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for round four.